Alison Akuchuk Warden. Edward Tulana. Sol Marina Crespo Nazario. Stop. Don't even think about it. My name is Pachunga Dakali. That's hella rad. <laughs> My name is Tatiana Tignor. Jorge Belarmino Merced Lopez. So known as Stephen Blanchett. <laughs> Native name is Lisa Achumak, and my English name is Lauren Anderson. I have never eaten anything from Lauren before. <laughs> my name is Cedric Leba Jr. People call me Seti. My family calls me Baby Boy. I'm originally from a town called Mumtrechuk, a little village, but I live in Anchorage now, in Alaska. I live in Anchorage, Alaska. I was born in Santurce, Puerto Rico, and I was raised in Florida. Kodiak, Alaska. It's about 400 miles south of Anchorage uh, in the Gulf of Alaska. Home is PR. When I'm there, I, I feel like my, the roots are coming out of my body and it connects to the earth. I'm our artist, theater artist. I am a uh, native dance instructor at the Alaska Native Hair Center. Ed, uh, he's definitely like a whale dude. Whale. Yeah. Ed will wear just about any color. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite food would have to probably be muskox. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I love yuca and I love bana, which I don't know how to translate. What do I like to eat? Fish, herring egg, seaweed, um, moose, moose guts, moose tongue. Cookies? Uh, seal soup. Dry fish. A banana? Definitely seal. Anything with a nice glass of wine. Fish. Smoked salmon, because we grew up with fishing and salmon is like a huge part of our diet. These crackers that are called pilot bread. I love to eat, yes. That's what I got this. Seal. My mom's cooking, whatever it is, whatever she makes. Caribou. A sancocho or a mofongo. Pula bear. A sancocho is like a stew with a lot of um, root vegetables. Potatoes and yuca and viandas. Ooh, I just started, I just started salivating. Pig's feet. I love chicken wings and uh, hot. It's got to be hot. Um, I don't really live dangerously. Um, been on a roller coaster once. Um, I like things that show off my traditional tattoos, so I've been looking more for. Uh, Outfits that kind of highlight this part. Red and black because those are actually my clan colors. Blue and green. Is the sunset a color? The land where you grew up in, that's home. Um, but uh, your people, your family is, is home. Like an icy white blue. Teal. Green. Blue of the ocean. Brown. Tundra. Color of the tundra. Most of my outfits were hand-me-downs from my older brother, so I wore a lot of primary colors. Um, but there was a turtleneck that I used to wear with little ducks on it. That was my favorite. Parka with a polar bear ruff, and it was corduroy. And I would play in the snow, so I remember that really well. It says future president, and I got this little, actually my, my grandma, my cheetah, got me this shirt. And she's like, this reminded me of you, so I bought it for you. So she bought it for me, and, and now I wear it all the time. I've just found a couple of my mom's atikluks, my, my grandmother's atikluks, which is our traditional clothing. And they just kind of unearthed themselves and found their way back to us. And um, I've been wearing those. They're really special. Who does my hair? His name is <coughs> David, David. He's, um, he's Dominican. Lives or works in Washington Heights. Let's see, my favorite feature on myself. Probably my eyes or my smile. My nose? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, myself? Everything. Um, but my hair is pretty dope. <laughs> my humor. So, yeah, let me, let me use that. <laughs> the thing that I like the most about myself uh, my teeth. <laughs> Feature, like a physical feature? Oh, I guess my cheekbones. PC, cheekbones. Huh. My ankle tattoos. Because <laughs> they're so beautiful, I, I never get tired of them. They were done traditionally also. My tattoo. My first tattoo was a coquita ino when I was 18. 
on my lower back, and then I found out that that was not a great placement. <laughs> this tattoo is a traditional design that goes on your, uh, on our traditional boots, what we call gummies. And so this is a, a, like an identifier for an individual. Everyone has their own pattern, so this one's mine. My favorite thing to wear, underwear. Why? Because, you know, everything feels like nice and tight. I like, like boxer briefs, you know. Just, I don't know, I just, I think there's something, you know, sensual, sexy about underwear. My favorite outfit was a cowboy outfit. That was, that was pretty fun. Pretending like I was a cowboy. I mean, like, yeah, as a native, <laughs> it's kind of a, yeah, but I, I did have, like, I had cowboy boots and all that. I had the hat. Pretending I was on a horse. <laughs> Catching Indians. My mom made all my clothes when I was like a really young kid. What do they call the shirt that goes above your belly button? Crop tops. tops. As a kid. She made me a little suit for uh, Easter. It was a nice plaid suit with a little little tie. And yeah, it was really cool. In men, I love butts. In women, I love um, I love legs. I, I like wearing button-up shirts, a little you know sports jacket. I do like to put a suit on. I really do. I like to tie. Skin tight. <laughs> what makes me smile? Seeing my generation um, learning their language and actually wanting to learn their culture. It's pretty cool. Apple cookies, in which you slice an apple and then you put peanut butter on them. And then if you're fancy, you can put like almonds and cinnamon. And I like goats. Boom. That's like, I say boom a lot. Get away, so it's like quay. I like that, <laughs> but it actually literally means to you know take a piss. So it's like piss off, <laughs> but quay. I like saying gender duck means everything's fine. We don't have any curse words in my language, Christian language, but in English, uh, maybe um, I would say dog salmon. Oh hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah is like. Saying, it's like a, a way to release joy. Hallelujah.